importantly, I like to thank my student body and my counselors too, because they also helped push these kids forward to make sure that academic standards was met. And I'd like to thank you guys in front of me. On Wednesday, Detroit Public Schools officially recognized Cass Tech for a remarkable achievement. A team that became the first from the PSL to win a D1 football state title. It's been quite a journey. One year ago, the technicians are having their best season in school history. Undefeated but trailing, Cass was putting together a phenomenal final drive against Lake Orion to win the state semifinals. That last drive, you know, I, I came through and, uh, you know, a lot of players came through to keep the drive alive on off like three or four fourth downs and we, we go to the five three yard line and it was just taken away from us. The final seconds ticking down on second and four from the six yard line, quarterback Keith Moore was hit, as were the dreams of a state championship. Many great seniors now gone, the green and white may have just blown their best shot. All of those guys are brothers to me, and I just wish I could have just take that back a couple more <laughs> seconds back, you know, a couple more minutes back and change that uh, play and just get them that championship because I really, I really wanted them to get that championship before they left. Over the past 13 years, there have been no less than 25 Division I recruits who played at Cass Tech. The well is never dry. The thing about Cass is, um, we always have guys that's dying for their shot. They dying to get their chance to make, you know, to, to you know, they dying to get their chance to get on the field. So you know, you never really know what you really have. Like freshman quarterback J. Rue Campbell, thrust into duty after senior Kevin Bisco suffered a season-ending injury. A top seed Turvey, six and three record in the playoffs. J. Rue led this team to greatness. My coach, I knew he had my back, whether we were losing by 50 or winning by 50. My teammates, they definitely have my back. My offensive line, I gotta give a lot, a lot of credit to them. They really worked hard this whole summer, the whole off season last year. They, they put in a lot of work. On the walk to Ford Field, he made a promise to the guy he replaced. I told him, I said, before the game, I said, I looked down at his jersey, it had a five right there. I said, you know, I'm gonna play my heart out. I'm gonna get you five touchdowns. That's what I do. You see, for the technicians, this game was all about belief for themselves and those who came before them. Now faces in the crowd. We can't play this game for us. You know, I can play it for you and I'm playing for all the alumni. You know, because if you if you play for them, you play harder. You know, you got something more to play for. So that's what I think helped us out a lot to see those faces, to know that they want it just as bad as we want it and they not suiting up. You know, they just cheering us on. So that's what I think really, really helped us a lot, you know, to see those faces to say, okay, this is for you too. A resounding 49-13 win over Catholic Central puts this team in the record book. And for the proud alum and citizens of Detroit, a reason to hold their heads up high.